former Miss South Africa Basizana Kumalo and her husband Romeo took author Jackie Pamunze to court. In 2018, Jackie tweeted that she overheard a TV mogul and former Miss South Africa pleading with one of her friends not to release a video of her husband involved in a sexual act with a male celebrity. Hi, T-Squad. And welcome to the tea world. Basitsana and her husband said Jackie was referring to them and opened a case of a crimen injuria against her. Jackie had been instructed by the court not to write or tweet anything by the court. But T Squad Jackie had included that tweet about them in her book. I tweet what I like, so sue me, which is the reason why they were back in court again. During the cross-examination, Basisana said the media refers to her as a media mogul and said she deserved the title as she has 10 TV shows, a production house and over 200 staff members. When asked if she was the only Miss South Africa, Basisana said she was the only Miss SA in 1994. She went on to ask the magistrate to protect them from Jackie's lawyer, who wasn't allowing them to finish her sentences, raising his voice and pointing fingers at her. So it was reported. At his squad, according to Mzanzi.com, Jackie's lawyer and Basisana's exchanges were highly entertaining and dramatic. Story number two. At his squad, not only is some people in trouble, Zahara is also in trouble with the law. A singer Zahara was found in contempt of the court after she failed to appear in court several times and was served with them 1.5 rands or three months in prison. This is nothing compared to the hefty fine or year in jail that she faces if found guilty on seven counts of tax in Version. As reported by Sunday World, the award-winning singer is facing one count of contravening tax laws and six for failing to submit her tax returns from 2013 to 2018. NPA South Gauteng spokesperson Pindi M had this to say. She was requested to end in her passport to the commercial crimes offices within 24 hours of the court appearance and to report to the Rodeport police station on Tuesday and Thursdays. The prosecutor Nerissa Reddy argued that the singer's reasons for not appearing in court were highly unreasonable and that she only appeared in court when the commercial crimes investigators' warrant officer began tracing her whereabouts. At his squad, Pindi ended that Zahara's celebrity status did not mean she was out of reach of the long hand of the law. Yes, you had that right. Let's hope justice will be saved. I mean, what else can I say? Moving right along, Trips react to Mumkey's move. When Royal AM drew to Cape Town All-Stars in the final match, they won the Glad Africa Championship secured a place in the premiership and Adilene Pisani was said to be the youngest chairperson in the premiership. After the match, Sean Mkiza gave members of the team medals as they celebrated their victory. T-Squad, the celebrations did not last long. However, as a PSL arbitrator ruled to award Sikukune three points, resulting in them winning the championship and replacing Royal AM in the DSTV premiership. Many people have voiced out before that Andile is a mama's boy who lets his mom fight his battles for him. Like in the case of Royal AM, Mom Kize owns the team. Andile plays in the team and is also its chairperson. So when Mom Kize took to court to challenge the arbitrator's decision, it was interpreted again as Mommy trying to give her son the world. Unfortunately for Royal AM, she lost the case. At his squad, Trips had a lot to say about all this. One said Mam Kize thought her money could buy the rules. Another said Royal AM should be practicing for their match against Richards Bay United instead of being involved in a legal battle. Some were happy that Royal AM would not be in the premiership and that the legal battles were destroying the beautiful game. At his squad, what are your thoughts on that one? While you think about that, let's move right along to the next story.
Actress Lorraine Moropa accused fellow Litapo actor Mangali Songema of sexually harassing her on the set last year. At the production house which shoots the telenovela, quizzical pictures then terminated his contract. Ngema, however, is not taking this lying down. He has decided to fight to clear his name and is doing so by suing Moropa and quizzical pictures for 12.5 million rands. At his squad, the actor has lodged a defamation claim accusing Moropa of tarnishing his name and prejudicing his income at the Johannesburg High Court. He also did the same with the production company, which he accused of unlawfully terminating his contract, presuming he was guilty without doing a formal investigation into the allegations. Ngema also said the bad publicity had a negative impact on his income streams. For example, he lost a 5 million rand investment that he had secured for himself to feature film Kalile. He also applied for the court to compel the two to pay him 60,000 rand since when his contract is terminated, he still had 10 calls to do at 6,000 rand each. At his squad about the incident which caused all this, the actor said he just inspected and adjusted a very tight pair of trousers in full view of all cast and crew members and somehow this was deemed as him inappropriately touching himself and directing the actions towards her. Last story at his squad and definitely not the least. So Mizi said he was paid. Ever since the ministerial cook-off was announced, people expressed their doubts at the intentions of Minister Kubai Ngubane and how it would boost tourism. First was the issue that it was being hosted at a hangout restaurant that is owned by DJ Shimza. Men felt his restaurant had been chosen as the venue because his long-term girlfriend works in the president's office. The second bone of contention was expressed by Chef Alise Hosimenya, who asked why Somizim Plongo was chosen as the chef instead of the many qualified jobless chefs in Mzanzi. At his squad, the minister said the two-hour cook of cost 150,000 rand. But this did not include Sumizi's fee, who she said did not benefit financially from the event. ENCA's checkpoint decided not to take the minister at her word and asked Sumizi if he was paid. In the teaser posted by the channel on Twitter, Sumizi hinted on being paid. When asked, the idol's SA judge said he didn't owe anyone that information. I did send in an invoice, asked them how much they paid me. So Mizi has said time and time again that he does not provide a service for free. At his squad recently, he shared the reason behind his stance and that reason is his father died poor, yet he was famous and multi-talented because he was underpaid and sometimes not paid at all for his services. So, T-Squad, if you were wondering why we woke up to Sumizim Klongom Daung trending this morning, this is the reason why. And I guess we will soon find out as everything unfolds on the next episode of Checkpoint. That's it for now, T-Squad. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.